Hi everyone, thank you so much for taking the time to click on my video. I really appreciate you spending a few minutes of your day watching. I would love to hear from you guys. I absolutely love reading your comments. I try my very hardest to get back to as many people as possible. I try to get back to everyone, so I would love to hear from you. So don't forget to leave me a comment below. It could be anything letting me know what you guys are up to or your favorite powder since that's what this video is about. But I just really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. I have a question for you before we get into it. I am planning on doing a video on my favorite products of 2015 since it's almost the end of the year which is so crazy but I wanted to know do you guys just want one video where I pick one product from each category or do you want me to split it up and do like my favorite lipsticks favorite lip glosses favorite um, eyeshadows things like that so if you want more than one I can kind of do like the best of category so I can feature more products or if you just want to know like my absolute favorite from each category I will stick with one video so let me know in the comments below if you guys have an opinion on that and I can't wait to film that for you in today's video I have five products some are drugstore some are high-end some are loose and some are pressed so no matter what you're looking for I feel like I have a powder that's going to work well for you and I can't wait to share them with you okay so let me start with my number one powder of all time I've been wearing this ever since I was in seventh grade which was a million years ago so it just goes to show that I love this I've purchased so many of these that it's it's not even funny and I just I love it I cannot get enough of it so it is the covergirl ready set gorgeous fresh complexion powder foundation now they recently repackaged it like it maybe a year or two ago probably even less than that it used to come in this blue package and this was the fresh complexion pocket powder at first I thought they reformulated it but honestly I think that it is the exact same product it just comes in this packaging now I love this now if you are not a liquid foundation fan you could totally get away with just wearing this on your skin and it gives you a really nice medium to almost full coverage look the most full coverage powder probably that I've ever tried and I love it I think that the best application method is definitely with the sponge that it comes with and I know a lot of people try to avoid sponges but honestly if you just clean it you'll be fine this provides a really nice medium to full coverage finish and it makes your skin look flawless now I wear it over foundation I don't wear it on my entire face which might sound kind of weird but I just use it on places where I need a little extra coverage so I'll use it on my nose I'll kind of use it in this area and it just it blends beautifully it gives you such a flawless finish you could totally wear it on your entire face but I just just find that I don't need that much coverage over my whole face but I love it I am never never without this I use it every single day and I feel like if I could only recommend one powder to you this would be the one to try as long as you're not looking for like a translucent powder or a light coverage powder if you want something with coverage and pigment this is going to be your best friend and I definitely recommend it now moving on to my favorite high-end full coverage powder or medium coverage powder that would have to be benefits hello flawless I believe this is a powder foundation as well so again you could wear this one on its own but I actually use it to set my foundation and this has been my favorite I've been using it I don't know if it was September or October but ever since I first tried this I have been obsessed like I haven't been using any other powder other than my covergirl one and it just does an amazing job at setting your foundation if you have oily skin you're going to love this because it keeps your foundation in place all day long you could wear it on your own on its own but honestly I love a full coverage look and I just I can't get enough of this powder it's super smooth it has a good amount of pigment to it and it just looks beautiful on the skin I've also been using it to set my under eye concealer and I just love how it looks I feel like anytime I get a compliment on my foundation in a video I'm wearing this so if you guys are curious about it try it out I already hit pan on it because I've been using it so so much I wear the shade I love me ivory which is the light shade so if you have lighter skin than me you probably won't find one that matches you I don't know that they have a super extensive shade range but if you can find one that works for you I recommend trying it out I like to apply it with a super dense powder brush for the most full coverage look but if you want a little bit less coverage you could use like a large fluffy brush another drugstore powder that I love and that is super affordable is the elf perfect finish HD pressed powder they also have a loose powder form so if loose powders are your thing you might like 
like that one, but I love the pressed powder form. This is a translucent powder, so it's not going to add any extra coverage or pigment to your foundation. It's just going to set everything into place, and I love this because it is super lightweight. So if I'm looking for a really extremely lightweight powder just to kind of set everything in place and make sure it doesn't move, this is one of my go-tos. If loose powders are your thing, I have two that I think you are definitely going to want to check out. The first one is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Poreless Finish HD Micro Powder. It's a super long name, but this powder is unlike any other powder that I've ever tried. If you struggle with super obvious pores, you are going to want to try this because for some reason, it really just helps to blur pores and blur imperfections, which I didn't think a powder could really do, but there's something about this powder that just does a great job of making your skin look flawless even when it's not. I would recommend using this over foundation, but of course you could use it on its own. It is translucent, so it wouldn't really give you a lot of coverage, but if you're looking for a super, you know, just kind of lightweight look and you have good skin, but you have obvious pores, it might work to cover those up, but honestly, it is the perfect setting powder if you are struggling with obvious pores. I struggle with them around my nose, and I just use a large fluffy brush and brush this all over my skin, and I love the the finish it gives. I've said it a million times, but for some reason throughout the day as you wear this, your skin almost looks better, which is kind of the opposite of what you would expect. I don't know how that works, but it really just makes your skin look better throughout the day. It blurs imperfections, and I love it. It's just a really good all-around powder. My last favorite is a recent discovery because everyone on YouTube talks about this, so I decided that I had to try it out, and it is the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder. I feel like this is just a good all-around powder. For the price, you get a good amount of product. You get one ounce as compared to, just for reference, this Bye Bye Pores one is only 0.23 ounces, so you're going to get a lot of product in here for the price, and this is just a good all-around powder no matter what skin type you have. This just works well to set your foundation without adding any extra pigment or coverage. I like to just use a large fluffy brush and brush this all over my skin. It's good for oily skin. I've seen people who have dry skin say that they like it, and I know a lot of people use this to kind of bake their under eye concealer. I don't really do that because I feel like I don't really know how to do that, but if you're looking for a good powder for that, I've seen Jaclyn Hill use it, a bunch of people mention it, so I just like this because I think it's just a good loose setting powder, so if I'm looking for one that's just kind of do going to do an all around good job, this is the one I would reach for. Those are my top five favorite favorite face powders. I'm getting really hungry, so I'm stuttering over my words. I'm about to go eat lunch, so if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I will get back to you for sure, but I feel like any of these five face powders would be a good option for you if you have oily skin, or really any type of skin. Just if you're looking for a good setting powder, I think you would like these. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!